Okay, welcome to the second movie swarm tutorial that I've made. All right, and in this one, we will cover creating multiple templates for a prop. So, first thing you want to do is open Movie Storm. I cheated, I already have it open. Um, okay, once you have it open, go to the master browser here, scroll down to the add-on folder where you have the prop that you want to create multiple templates for. I'm going to use the prop from uh, tutorial 01, the tutorial shelf that I made. So we click on that and we wait because, you know, it like, takes a while because it's really slow. Mine is. <laughs> Not everybody's, but mine is. <laughs> I would pause it, but unfortunately, um, the screen capture program I'm using, if I pause it, it, it stops it and then deletes the first part. Found that out when I was making the first tutorial. I uh, really need to find a better program to use, but for now, this is what I'm using. All right, so it's done. So we can go to models, props, all right, find the these are all the same, but I will use the middle one. That's right there. All right, so. So we want to create multiple templates because maybe we um, want it, you know, we want this to be a different texture and we want the shelves to match. Or if you have a building and, you know, you want the windows to be a little different. Um, all right, so we have the tutorial shelf here now. The first thing we wanna do is go into our add-ons folder, go into the, uh, the folder where the prop is, data, props, and we're using this one, and we see this little textures folder. Double click on that, and I like to make sure I can see it. Okay, and then we go to where we have the other textures we want to use. Let's see. Um, where do I want to find those? We'll use this right here. Um, so, let's see, redstone, probably don't want to use those. Um, let's go into textures folder. Um, let's use some other, I'm going to use some other 1980s textures. Um, it's where I got the red from for it. So let's see. Um, this one looks pretty, oh, uh, that one looks kind of nifty. So copy that and paste it into here. And let's do one other one. Um, let's do a Let's do a yellow. Those aren't all yellow. Wow. I must have been really tired when I made that folder. Okay, back out of there. Let's go into green then. Um, let's see. Let's use this one that I called dress. Copy that paste it into here. You can change the names here if you want to. I'm just going to leave them. Um, all right, now, tutorial shelf. Click on that, the template. Now, you want to right-click it, go down here to where it says retexture. Click on that. We want it to go into the same add-on, so just leave that. Now, we will go tutorial shelf. Um, let's see, would we pick a blue and a green? So let's go blue. For the first one. You have to select one of those or it won't let you go any further. Finish. Done. And that's done. Now, you want to make sure you click on the new one. If you do not, then it will change this one and it's just going to be a pain. So, click on the new one. Why'd I do that? 
Um, scroll down. Uh, make sure that we are selecting the right one. Click Browse, Textures, because it'll be in there. Um, I think this was the blue one. <laughs> Maybe I should have renamed them. Anyways, um, there you go. We got this new one here. Um, now these don't match. The shelves don't match anymore. So let's go down here. Um, and we are going to pick a different diffuse color. We want one that kind of matches that. Mm, I think I like the lighter one there. So we'll leave it there. And then we save it. And then we right click, we texture again. Next, go to here, uh, tutorial, oops, didn't capitalize that, tutorial, shelf, green, next, grab one of these two, next, next, finish, done, close, green, make sure you click on it, go to the first one there, go into there, and grab the second one and that totally doesn't match again so go into the diffuse of the second texture and oh, that's ugly let me see something I think yeah yeah okay I see if you click the tentable it's the proper color the other one kind of grays out a little bit so okay let's see well we don't want it Okay, if you can't really get the right color, you can click into the color wheel and then bring it down a little. Whoa, we don't want that to happen. That's a little bit more. I'm trying to match that yellowish color there. And that's pretty close. All right. Save it. All right. And then publish your login. Publish it. So that way they will all show up. And now we can close out of this and then we can go back to Maybe storm, open it, allow it. Well, I do that because until it pops up, I'm like, oh, I have to fix it. And then I don't do it. <laughs> so let's see, wait for it, click it to start button. Open, 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 like the Bon Marche commercial. Uh, new movie. And wait for it. Empty movie. Click it to check. Watch it go around and around till it's done. Which it will be done eventually, I think. Maybe. Someday. It'd be nice if I could pause this, because, you know, then you wouldn't have to sit there and watch that, but. Yeah. Alas, I cannot. Ah, empty set. There we go. And go into there. And wait for it. Again. Okay. Now we can click the chair. Yay. And then we type in real. Okay. And then we find the one that I changed, the middle one. Click on it. Put it down. Oh, look. And we have all these different ones. And we can still make it bigger or smaller because the scalable thing is still there. Not Let me try to get it back to 100. So we can have that one, we could have it that color, we could have it that color, yay! So that is how you make 
multiple options down here, multiple templates. Um, let's see. Uh, I believe I'm thinking I'm going to, yeah. The next one I will cover um, getting a prop from 3D Warehouse into SketchUp and what you need to do in order to uh, to make sure that it's ready to be imported into MovieStorm. And then we'll bring it into MovieStorm. And then maybe the one after that we will go over creating multiple templates for other objects. So instead of just clicking on this and you have these shelves, you could click on this and have these kind of shelf, this kind of shelf, or you could have a totally different kind of shelf and another totally different kind of shelf that is not the same mesh but totally different. Wow! Then you could put all your stuff together so you could have like 20 buildings that are all completely different under here. So that is something to do. All right, well, that is it for this tutorial. It was quick, it was fast, and it is done like a band aid. Pull it off. All right, talk to you later for the next tutorial.